Hello folks, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. You're looking at the Windows Mixed Reality Mirror with the frame rate counter from the OpenXR Toolkit. Talking of that, I'm going to show you my latest settings for the Reverb G2 in this video as well. Uh, I'm flying in the brand new SimWorks Studio RV14. It should be released by the time this video goes out and if you haven't seen my review, I'll stick that in the notes below. Now also, there's been a new update to the OpenXR development tool. That is different from the OpenXR development tool kit. Oh, this is getting confusing, folks. Um, but it's important to keep all these things updated. Now to do that, you need to go to your Microsoft Store, make sure that you've got that installed, and you can see there, click Get Updates. Mine's already been updated. That is the version number that you should be looking for. And these are my settings for the OpenXR development tool. Notice I've got preview mode on. I've got uh, motion reprojection on. You're looking at this right now because it's super smooth at 30 frames per second locked. This is over London as well, pretty much London area uh, with very high settings. And I'm recording and I'm getting a nice smooth 30 frames per second. However, I do get some artifacting, but that is a trade-off. I don't mind because it means that I can get really super smooth performance. Notice how it's just changed there to 22.5 and then back to 30. But overall, it is very, very smooth indeed. If you don't like artifacts or the, you know, the odd wavering sort of experience, then try it disabled as well. Although this kind of flying where I'm really close to the ground, it really helps with it on in my opinion. They are my settings. Make sure you've got a custom render scale set to 100% if you're using the OpenXR toolkit. And if you're not, well, I don't really know why you're not because it absolutely is a game changer. These are my settings, by the way. I'll just show you now. I can press Control and F2. There we go. In fact, what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of that so it's not wiggling around. That's what I'm using right now. The NIS upscaling is on with 90% uh, with 40% sharpening, I find that's a very nice trade-off. My inner ring size, now this is the thing, if you've got a Reaver V2, you might want to put that to 80% because you get more field of view. And the more field of view you get, the more you'll notice the inner ring size where it stops and you'll get that sort of graininess. My outer ring size is at 80%, and it's important, by the way, to make sure that your fixed foveated rendering is on custom so that you have these options. Uh, I suppose the last thing to mention is my inner resolution is one times. I find that works pretty well for me. Now the last thing I want to mention as we get close to London here, it's still at 30 frames per second whilst recording, pretty cool, is the appearance tab. Now you can do that by scrolling the top menu there, control F3, see that. Now many of you will want to change the uh, world scale. I'm actually quite happy with the way it is anyway, so I'll, I'll leave it at default, that's just 100%. But my contrast, I changed that to 50.1. That is because the NIS scaler, it really affects the color of any VR headset. It makes it a little bit washed out. So that little change there makes all the difference for me personally. So I hope that's of some use to you guys. At the moment, as I say, my settings in Sim Update 8 mean that I'm getting really nice performance. Even recording, I'm getting a lock 30 frames per second. Without motion reprojection, I'm getting about 40 frames per second, about, yeah, between 40 and 45. It can be as high as 50 in the Vario area, by the way. Um, but don't let that fool you, because you're going to get a smoother performance or smoother experience over the ground at lower frames with motion reprojection enabled. But if you don't like it, feel free to experiment and have it disabled as well. I hope that's of some use to you folks. Make sure you pick up this RV by SimWorks Studios and uh, for 15 euros you can't go wrong folks, you really can't. I'll be arranging a community flight soon and uh, yeah, keep abreast of that. I will certainly uh, sort of let you know on my Discord server and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.